Our bishop has actually taken this a, a little bit different direction and it is very much relational. We have been grouped into clusters. Uh, originally they were triads and so we were modeling after the three churches, Macedonia, Jerusalem and, and Corinth. And so it's very much relational and it's also about storytelling. Everybody has a story to share and so we're encouraging people to get out there and talk to one another in their triad and, and go over like what is your story and how do we empower, how does the church empower you to do that story. Primary focus for us was mission interpretation and to have conversations on the mission of the congregation, the synod and the wider church and to involve uh, Le key lay leaders in that process. One of the ways we did this was to select 18 uh, shepherd callers, key congregational leaders, so that they could make uh, phone calls to the chairs and vice chairs of our, the congregations in our synod. And to invite those congregational chairs to um, conduct a devotional around a scripture such as the Macedonia scripture and to invite them to have a discussion around a scripture text uh, with questions uh, and to also follow that study, scripture study together with a conversation about mission support. And uh, to do that we used a mission support video and we asked the question on this video, where is God at work? in the South Carolina Synod and uh, gave each congregation a copy of this video, asked them to have that conversation. And then we, following that discussion of the video, we asked, uh, we gave a challenge. And the challenge was to grow toward tithing of their congregation to the wider work of the church. We partnered with Pacific Lutheran University and Region One Gift Planner and the Synod put together a weekend retreat in two different locations for church leaders in congregations that had endowments, foundations, or were looking to do foundation or endowments starts. And we prepared a series of, of classes in this weekend. We did a class on what is an endowment, why should you have a, an endowment policy, what's the difference between a memorial fund and an endowment, and how can those things work together or separately, or how does it work for your congregation? And then we also talked about what is a planned gift, and what does it mean to have your whole life lived as though you're a steward of everything that you have on this earth. We were able to really introduce the concept of tithing and offerings, and also improve on people's understanding of what an endowment is, and why we should consider having those and what they can do to serve our congregations.